What's up, family? Major warning messages have been released all this week and, uh, well, you need to be aware of what's going on, guys. That record haze of smoke from Canadian wildfires is now spreading. Tonight, more than 120 million Americans across 20 states now at risk. The system still locked in place. The stunning images. New York City recorded its worst air in decades in the last 24 hours. And tonight, take a look. That orange sky from the hazardous air has now reached Washington, D.C. You can see the Washington Monument there shrouded in the haze. Tonight, the toxic air triggering an air quality emergency in Philadelphia. In New York City, so many in masks again tonight. Just outside New York, racing at Belmont Raceway canceled today, two days ahead of the Triple Crown Belmont Stakes. The smoke stretching to the Midwest, the Chicago skyline, also orange. And tonight, the smoke causing more air travel disruptions. Ground stops for a time at a number of major airports today. LaGuardia Airport, Philadelphia had a ground stop, Washington, D.C. too. And the White House postponing a Pride Day celebration on the White House lawn until Saturday. Well, as you can see, guys, these Canadian wildfires are creating hazardous air conditions in the northeastern areas, in which, guys, it is affecting millions of Americans. And yes, smoke from more than 200 wildfires in Quebec is making breathing dangerous for about 100 million people in the Midwestern states of the United States and about 1,000 miles stretch of the U.S. East Coast areas. But anyways, guys, the smoke which began on June the 5th is expected to move south and to lessen, but will last for at least several more days. On June the 8th, air quality in New York City, guys, as you saw on the video, Philadelphia as well as Washington, D.C. was rated as unhealthy or hazardous. If the fires in Canada continue, the smoky conditions may return in the next few days or so. And as you can see right here, guys, millions of Americans have been warned to stay inside as the wildfires smoke smoke blankets complete of the eastern states. Yes, guys, as you saw in the video, a heavy pall of polluted air still blankets much of the eastern United States, and it may not dissipate for a few more days. So uh, anyways, guys, you definitely want to be aware of what is going on in our neighboring states. Me, myself, I live in the state of Texas, so we don't have to deal with uh, those particular conditions right now. But anyways, guys, also restaurants were pretty much shutting down and waiting for the smoke to clear. So guys, it is pretty much affecting everyone, guys. Like I said, millions of Americans are being affected by these wildfires in the other country of Canada. So, so anyways, guys, definitely want to be mindful of those individuals that live in that direction and definitely want to pray for them uh, during this particular time. And hopefully they uh, stay in so they don't have to breathe these hazardous air quality that has been reported, guys. Uh, anyways, guys, I will keep you guys posted as usual. But anyways, guys, moving on, we are seeing some dire warning messages that are coming from places like Costco. What does Costco have to do with dire warning messages that is affecting millions of Americans? Well, guys, according to this particular article right here, you can see for yourself. Yes, guys, the Costco executives are warning of a looming recession because of one change that shoppers are actually making with their buying habits. And as you can see right here, guys, this particular information was released during their recent earnings call and it says that in times of economic struggles Americans tend to change their shopping habits uh, it's called the lipstick effect where people will continue splurging on smaller items such as candles and cosmetics but delay the larger purchases in one example now the Costco executives have also spotted other consumer spending changes in their warehouse clubs as well yes guys in the call with investors reported by the business insider Costco chief finance officer Richard said he's seen some customers switching from purchasing of beef products to less expensive choices like pork and chicken. He said he's also seen this particular trend historically as the U.S. entered a recession in the past and now he is saying that we are starting to see that same type of change in buying habits from our shoppers as of today. So the question is guys is this leading towards a recession? Well if you listen to the Costco exam executives, they believe so, guys. They said that they have seen this in the past during the uh, 2008 financial crisis, and now they're seeing it once again. And in a newly released report from the United States Federal Reserve found that 64% of Americans have switched to cheaper versions of products to make ends meet amid the inflation. Meanwhile, 66% of those polled 
said that they are using less of specific products or eliminating them entirely from their spending habits. That report tracks with Costco's data in a few ways, showing Americans choosing less pricey products across the board. So anyways, guys, uh, yes, Costco is saying that uh, these are the signs of the times that we are entering into a recession or basically already in a recession. So uh, anyways, guys, they are saying that Americans have already changed uh, what they buy and how they spend their money because they are trying to make sure that their money lasts for a very long time, especially considering as there have been a lot of people losing their jobs over the past six months or so. So anyways, guys, also seeing the same type of message coming from Macy's as well, guys. Macy's is saying that their shopping habits from their customers is also changing as well. But the biggest question is, guys, can the future of the U.S. economy be predicted by Macy's and Costco shoppers? The two retailers have sounded the alarm, but is it enough for consumers to be concerned about? I'll tell you guys right now, guys, it is something to be concerned about. But guys, because the data is right in front of us, why else would people change the way they have been spending all this time? We haven't seen this in over the last 14 years or so, and now we are seeing this change. People are no longer buying beef because it is the most expensive meat out there, but yet and still they are choosing to buy other uh, cheaper products such as chicken and pork. So anyways, guys, Guys, uh, you definitely want to be mindful of this, guys, and pay attention. And then in regards to recession, guys, we did see a recent survey saying that a recession, the odds of it from happening in 2023 are hoovering at around 64% because of the bank failures that we saw a few months ago, as well as the high interest rates that continue to plague America, which is pretty much why no one is pretty much buying homes right now. It is affecting millions of Americans out there, guys. So anyways, guys, like, I said, I will keep you guys posted as usual. Uh, moving on to some other warning messages, guys. Hey, the former president, Donald Trump, was just indicted. Yes, guys, this guy just can't get enough. He can't get a break, guys. But anyways, uh, the former president, Donald Trump, was indicted earlier this week on 37 counts in the mar lago case in regards to holding the classified documents at his home, at other places, at mar lago uh, Guys, this story continues on. And yes, guys, Donald Trump has had enough. He is calling on the DOJ because they are saying that they are working for President Biden, and President Biden is behind all of this. But anyways, guys, as of Friday, uh, the Justice Department actually released, they unsealed the information in regards to the indictment against Donald Trump. And guys, they, they're, they're just not good, guys. But anyways, guys, a lot of people, especially the Republican side, they are saying that this is just pretty much a witch hunt, and this is not right. Uh, they need to do something about it because they did nothing when... Uh, Hillary Clinton had those emails stored at her office and now they're coming forcefully after the former president Donald Trump. So anyways, guys, uh, Republicans are speaking out, guys, especially those ones that have already entered into the race for the 2024 presidential election. And guys, they are actually sort of taking up for the former president, even though Donald Trump has pretty much attacked every single one of them out there. But anyways, guys, we are seeing messages coming from the House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, in which he is saying that uh, the Trump indictment will actually disrupt the nation. He said that, look, he is not going to stand for it. He is going to make sure that Biden is held accountable because they all believe that President Biden has to do something in regards to the indictment against the former President Donald Trump. But anyways, guys, also we heard from the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, in which he's put out a message and he blasted the DOJ in regards to the weaponization of using the federal law to enforce these particular laws. And yes, guys, uh, he put out a statement and said that, look, the weaponization of federal law enforcement represents a mortal threat to a free society. We have for years witnessed an uneven application of the law depending upon political affiliation. Anyways, guys, uh, Ron DeSantis put that message out on Twitter. And then we also heard from the former vice president, Mike Pence, in which he calls the Trump indictment of classified documents. He said that, look, it is very troubling. But but he does emphasize that no one is 
above the law. So he kind of sent out a few mixed signals in regards to his response. Uh, but anyways, guys, as you can see right here, he is pretty much speaking at a particular rally. And uh, guys, he is pretty much running for the next presidential election. Now, again, guys, don't forget that Pence was a partner of Donald Trump. However, they ended up getting into a battle in regards to the January 6th, which pretty much led to a riot on Capitol Hill. So it's very shocking to see that Pence is actually taking up a little bit for his former boss. But Trump pretty much hasn't said anything in regards to Mike Pence other than uh, he did not do his right in holding up the election last year or uh, two years ago on January the 6th. So anyways, guys, uh, that is the latest information that we are receiving in regards to the former president, Donald Trump, being indicted on 37 counts in regards to holding these classified documents at his home in Mar-a-Lago. And just to update you guys on a little bit of information in regards to the unsealed information in regards to the indictment, they are saying that these particular documents were stored in bathrooms, in his bedroom, in garages, and other places, guys, in Mar-a-Lago. So, uh, and they also showed pictures in this indictment as well. So, uh, guys, they pretty much have the evidence. So, it's kind of hard to say that someone else planted these documents at his Mar-a-Lago estate. But anyways, guys, uh, I think the biggest issue is that even though he took these documents because we also have other people took these documents as well as President Biden and I believe a couple of other people as well but I think the problem is that basically Donald Trump was saying that he had the right to hold these documents and he pretty much withheld them even though the DOJ uh, called for these documents to be returned within 72 hours or so and Donald Trump still did not return all of the documents and other information was released in this particular indictment saying that he was actually telling other people to lie to the DOJ and said that they didn't even have any documents and then they would just go away peacefully. So anyways, guys, uh, I don't know exactly who that was, but that information was released and it was included in this particular indictment. So uh, guys, uh, Donald Trump is in a lot of trouble, guys. And this is not the only uh, legal issue that he is facing. He is facing other legal issues as well. So uh, but anyways, guys, he said that he will continue to run for the presidential election for 2024. He said that he will not let these particular legal issues hold him down or even uh, let the other legal issues as well. He said that he will still be going full force in running for the next presidential election. And anyways, guys, in regards to this particular indictment, uh, Donald J. Trump is expected to surrender in Miami, Florida next week on Tuesday, according to authorities. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this indictment as well as uh, this air quality, as well as the recession, guys, according to the uh, Costco executives. Comment down below and let me know how you feel about this, guys. I'm curious to get your take on all of this in this particular video, guys. But anyways, guys, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, that's all I have for you today. But if you enjoy today's content and you want to see more, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.